Okay. Hi, I'm Emma. Um, I'm just going to give you guys like a very general overview of a technique called content-based image retrieval. Um, so what is it? Uh, it's a way of querying image databases um, that uses properties of the image as search terms to query the database and return similar images uh, rather than using metadata associated with the image like tags or um, descriptions. Yeah. Um, so before CBIR was um, more widely used, uh, basically the only way to query image databases was using text-based image retrieval. Um, so like databases would uh, contain photos that would be annotated with like a variety of descriptions and tags. Um, and then uh, you would have to like search the database using those tags in order to retrieve images that match your search terms. Um, but there are a lot of limitations to this approach. It's highly labor intensive because you have to like manually annotate images with tags. Um, it's also unreliable because um, like the tags depend on people's perception of the images, which like vary widely across groups of people and also their interpretation of the image. Um, so uh, you know, it's likely that like your search will return a lot of images that aren't directly related to like what you want to see. Also, like uh, language is just inherently vague, so you could submit a search for Apple and you would get a picture of an Apple and, or maybe the icon for Apple computers. Um, OK, so a solution to this is um, content-based image retrieval, uh, which sort of, s in a way, sees the image. Um, it looks uh, at the image's color, um, basically by like interpreting the pixels and then like um, the color components within those pixels as like mathematical representations. Um, so it's able to see color in that way and then um, find images whose color is similar. Um, it also is able to look at texture, uh, although there's no like really um, like fixed definition of like what texture means uh, to a computer. Um, it sort of generally uh, can be discerned by looking at like repeated patterns of pixels um, and sort of like the concentrations of like those patterns and their frequency. Um, and then also uh, it is able like the computer is able to see shapes in an image. Um, Primarily using like the boundary-based technique, which like traces the pixels around like the boundary of a shape, um, and a region-based technique, which like examines concentrations of pixels in a particular area and then is able to like determine shape from that. Um, yeah, and so it gets these features and then it compares those features with the same features uh, of other images in the database. Um, and there's basically like a lot of math that goes on, but then. Uh, Ultimately, it's able to compute like images whose sort of like average uh, difference from the original image is the smallest, and then return those. Uh, so there are some interesting applications of this. Um, there's a thing called Image Miner, which is used in pathology. Um, it allows like pathologists to look at like large samples of bacteria and quickly discover like um, similarities between them, um, which is something that would otherwise take a very long time. Um, also, um, <laughs> it's used by the International Association of Paper Historians. Um, they have like these medieval documents that um, are as old as like from like 1282, um, and they have watermarks on them. And then there are also a lot of medieval documents that have watermarks which are, which are unidentified. Uh, so they like sort of like scan the unidentified watermarks into their database and then compare them against like um, the identified watermarks, and in that way they're able to discover like the approximate age and also like region of these unidentified watermarks on medieval documents. Um, and it's also used by um, police offices. Um, oh, sorry, the technology photo book is used by like police um, for uh, face identification purposes. Um, so they can just take like sketches or photos of suspects and then compare them against um, a database of mug shots. Um, yeah, this is kind of interesting uh, because um, uh, in the case of PhotoBook, at least, like before the database is searched, um, they like go through and um, basically find one image that represents like each category of image within the database, um, and those are sort of like exist as the prototypes, um, and then they're able to like take um, the inputted image and like compare um, its sort of like average distance from the prototypes. Um, and 
Yeah, it also like uh, they also like extract shapes from like the inputted image and then um, compare those the shapes from that image to like shapes in all of the other images across the database and like um, the measure they use to like determine how different a shape is from another is like basically like the average like energy it takes for like one shape to be deformed into the other, um, which is kind of interesting. Um, and this technology is just like becoming more ubiquitous. Like you know, there's like face recognition stuff in um, iPhoto and Facebook and stuff. So. Thank mm -hmm. you.